If you want to display a clock on your iPhone locked screen, then this video is right for you. We can use iPhone's guided access feature along with a special app to show an aesthetic digital or analog clock on our iPhone's locked screen. This is like always on feature earlier invented by LG, later adopted by Samsung and many other mobile phone manufacturers. By enabling always on feature, we can display little clock even an icon along with some custom messages on locked iPhone screen. By default iPhone doesn't provide any feature like this, but as I said to you initially, by the help of iPhone guided access feature and an app, we can get always on feature on iPhone too. So let's get started. First of all, we'll learn a little bit about the app and its feature. Then we'll see the demonstration on how to enable always on feature on iPhone. We can show a digital or an analog clock according to our choice. To do this, from settings of the app, we can select and unselect analog clock. You can see now the clock is changed to an analog clock. I would keep the default one, I mean the digital one as I think digital one looks more good than the analog one. If you want you can change the screen icon too. Here you can see bunch of screen icons. You can select any of them or if you purchase the app then you can load your own screen icon too. I am happy with the free version so I will select just one of these given icons. I don't know about you but the way icons disappear or fade away look absolutely mesmerizing to me. Well if you want you can display your own personal messages too. Just go to settings and then tap on change personal note then write whatever you want to show on locked screen. Tap enter and done. Now we can see personal message is being shown underneath of the time and date. Well there are some more features available for premier users let's say changing color, setting star roof. I'm not going to spend more time explaining all of this. After installing you can play with these extra features. Well now we will see how we can get these features. I mean how we can show a clock on our iPhone locked screen. First of all we need to go to settings and enable guided access. To do this we will tap on settings then general. then accessibility then we'll scroll down to the bottom of the window now we'll tap on guided access here we need to turn toggle button on to enable guided access also make sure accessibility shortcut is turned on we need to set a password too don't be worried this password and your phone password is completely different still you can use a different password now you can either use touch id or password. I will use password. For this tutorial purpose my password is 111111. We need to provide password two times. Guided access setup is now complete. Ok now we will head over to iPhone app store and download the app. Name of the app is OLEDX, I mean OLEDX. So we will search for OLEDX. This black one is our app. We'll install the app as usual app installation. The app is nearly 13 MB, so just a tiny one to give a try. Well, after installing, we'll tap on the app to open it, and once opened, we'll hit home button three times. iPhone X users hit the side button instead of the home button three times. Once we press home button three times, guided access will be enabled and our iPhone will be password protected. Now it looks like a locked screen, and using iPhone always on feature, we actually showing a clock exactly like Samsung or LG always on clocks. Now you can keep your iPhone in this state as long as you want. To unlock your phone, you need to press home button 3 times. Again, iPhone X users press side button 3 times instead of the home button. And then you will be asked for the unlocking password. Just provide the password and unlock your phone. Ok, after disabling guided access, just hit home button one more time and you will be taken to home screen again. Well some final words, if you are using any iPhone rather than iPhone X, then using always on feature to display clock will be expensive deal for you, because it will drain your battery very quickly. But this will not be a big deal for iPhone X users. So if you have an iPhone X, then you definitely can give it a try.